Hey guys, so now we're gonna work uh, X guard from De La Hiva. This is a variation I've been doing a lot lately and it's very effective. So, be aware of how you're holding the De La Hiva. Have a good structure, make sure you have the right grips and right positioning. And in this variation, we're gonna grab the ankle. Because you have the option of grabbing the ankle or the pants in the La Hiva, but in this uh, X guard entry, we're gonna grab the ankle. So. We are here and I have my foot in the biceps. But when I'm feeling ready to attack, I'm just gonna do a small kick on his leg. And the reason why I'm doing that is to start fucking with his base. Because anytime I'm doing this, his base gets worse. And now I can pull the collar, so I'm kicking, and right after, I'm, while I'm kicking, I'm pulling the collar and I'm lifting him. And then, I'm, look, I'm getting my hip under his foot like this. So his leg is resting on my hip. And now it's very hard for Tommy to, to get back because I'm lifting this, twisting his, his ankle towards my hip while having a strong hip here. And this leg is kicking on the far leg. And I'm always making, I'm making sure that I'm pulling the collar down so his weight is going here away from his hip because I don't want him to go back here. So again, I'm here, I'm kicking, pulling and lifting like this, okay? From here, you circulate your leg inside like this. And from here, I'm just holding the hook and try to have as tight trick as possible. And then I switch the other hook. So if you don't have a tight trick and you switch, you can step up, you see? So by having a tight trick here, even when I'm letting go and I'm fast, it's kind of hard for him to get away. So I'm hooking here. And of course, I'm doing the switch fast. So I'm like this, and then I switch, and I grab the pants here. From here, I like to just keep kicking and start going for a technical stand. -up. And I like to have his foot on my shoulder like this. A lot of people, when they do a technical stand up, they kind of rush it and they go straight up to the legs. And look at my posture. I don't have a good posture now, so he can start escaping. He can even do flying triangle when I'm like this. So what I like to do instead is to go step by step with a strong posture. So I'm tight there, always pinching my head toward this leg like this. And now I'm going on my knee first. You see? And then I connect the gable grip to pull it down and I stand up like this. And from here, you can dive down, grab this ankle, get the sweep. So, again, we're in the del Hiva, get the good grip here, foot and biceps. And now when you're ready to attack, you push the leg, you pull the collar and lift him so his leg is on my hip. You just keep this grip here and start switching your leg. Lift it in the air and you lift it towards yourself. Because if it's out here, it's harder to do it on the hook. So you pull it towards yourself and you do a quick switch here. And now you just keep kicking, put this leg on your shoulder, and you go step by step. Go on your knee first, you make the gable grip tight, and now you go down, grab the ankle, pull it, and you get a sweep. So, different angle. It's so a very effective and nice way to sweep from De La Hiva, so try it out.